Morning, princess. Morning, princess. Oh my God, does that bloke snore? Yeah. Well, what I can tell you is that this sleep mat and pillow are the most comfortable thing I've slept on on the ground. I slept like a, well, I would sleep like a bastard. It was, uh, I was knackered. Big old dose of heartburn halfway through the night and a couple of cramping ups. But yeah, the net was as good as fucking useless to be fair. But hey, I slept. I slept, John. Yeah, I love it. Oh. So the afterburner's on. Got porridge for brekkie and some coffee. Oh, coffee. Johnny's living the dream, look. He's got some muesli. This place is currently a bomb site, but we will have it all cleared up. Um, I'll show you afterwards how nice and pristine it is. Um, we had someone pop down from work to say hello yesterday. No, not a lot of filming done. But today's another day, isn't it, John? We're going to hit this hard, aren't we? Bless him. Um, yeah, I'll need to get my porridge out and then start packing all this shit away. And that's just boring. Everyone knows that. See you in a minute. These noisy bastards in their speedboats are bleeding four o'clock in the morning, though. Almost knocked me out my snoring stride. What to? Feet ain't too bad. The left is absolutely fine, but I do have a cheeky little blister, maybe two, on my right foot. Didn't even notice then. I'm sure I'll bleed and will later. You take some of mine, mate. There's Tapey McTape foot. You can take some of my blisters if you want. <laughs> Poor old Johnny suffering. Tapey McTape foot. <laughs> I would feel bad for you, mate, but you know, you're a bit of a dick. Oh, you just lost some scoops. Easy for you to say. Thanks. Oh. That is a very good shelter. The bug net was dog toffee um yeah utter shite uh i think if i set it up a bit better it wouldn't have been so bad but it popped off halfway through the night so i obviously didn't need it and then admin look at it 20 mile john smash it i don't think we're gonna smash it but we'll get it done nice little bit of vast along your toes there mate can you uh, clean all that off when I'm sucking them later, though? It's got to stay on there. <laughs> Adds to the uh, flavour. What are you doing, John? John, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you don't need air with that, do you? Go yeah, right up there. Get that crimper. You missed a bit on your balloon knot. <laughs> now, I know a lot of you only ever watch my channel because you know, fashion and shit. So today, it is a croc and ankle sock combo. Merino wool. There's something I want to show you for later on as well. Um, someone obviously never watched my Olight review and they sent me something to test. Um, it is a solar charger and power uh, battery bank, like so. I think it's 24,000 milliamp. Um, so I've already charged my GoPro twice and my phone twice on it and it's about half power. So what I'm gonna do today is have it on the top of my Bergen, gathering the rays of goodness to charge it. And we'll see how much that charges. But I have had it out in the garden, it does work well. Um, I'll, in fact, I'll do a different video review. What do you reckon, John? I'll show you it working on the walk. I think you should do a different video review. You don't know, do a different video <laughs> review? Know, I'll do a different video review. I'll show you if it works today on the walk. Um, and if it does, which it will, um, yeah, separate video, I'll review it, give you the links. I'll even see if I can get you some free shit, like buy one, get one free or some stuff. I don't know. I don't know them. Uh, eh, eh. So as you can see, apart from a bit of talc, you'd never know we were here. And the stench of unrequited man love. 
it takes nothing to leave no trace. Pick your crap up, chuck it in a bin, cover up your fires, make sure they're out. Hashtag leave no trace. If I did put that other bit in, when I had my little rant, which I probably won't because, uh, no, there was a lot of uh, references to thunder cunts. Um, yeah, anyway, we're back on the road, coast behind us, beef in front of us, and we're off 20 miles a day to get to where we need to go. Johnny's probably got six mile in his legs. So, uh, yeah, should be a fun one. It should be a fun one. Don't suck that, John, does it? What a view, day two. What a view, day two. I wonder what day three is going to be saying. There be the needles. After a long slog the day before, little hills like this, really, they're a welcome sight. Looking at that fucking hoop for the second time today, isn't it? Look at him, he's walking like he shat himself. There's a reason for that. That ain't good. The, uh, the diversion is a proper steep bastard. A long steep bastard on road. But onward and upward. So uh, yesterday's definitely taking its toll on us a bit. Pace ain't exactly quick, but we're moving, John. Sort of. Uh, on the Warren now, in fresh, what is it, Totland, Allen Bay? Oh, I don't believe, no. Totland. Totland. So we're gonna walk up. It's a little bit soul destroyer, and I'll show you when I uh, get to a place I can see. Um, Tennyson Monument is only probably about a 20 minute walk, but we've got to go up to Allen Bay. Um, the battery up there, which is gonna make it what hour and a half, two hours, John. Yeah. Um, nice slog. views though. Windy as hell. Hard slog as well. It is gonna definitely gonna be a hard slog on these legs. So I'll bring you back. Bring you back. Why would I say it? I'll show you uh, the needles on the first chance we get. So just to show you, we've come from that way. There's the monument. So we could have just cut straight up to the monument. Instead, we've got to mooch all the way up that fuck off girl hill, up to the top and then over up there. It's not too bad when you're over and up there. That thing's a killer, but you do get a good view of that. The needles. Any practice would have been good, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are at Allen Bay, the world's worst theme park. It's ass. Johnny, be honest. How many prostitutes do you think he's killed? Look at it. It's almost vertical. They're killing me here, John. 
Hills, hills, more hills. Some money there. Wally can't hear me. I'm proper fucking feeling it. Oh. Uh, blister's not an issue. My right foot on the longer side of it. Don't know what it's called. That's a bit sore, you know. Needs to join the party again. But it's all manageable, definitely manageable. Poor old Johnny's suffering big time with his feet. <coughs> and you know, his face. But you know what I mean? You gotta love it, ain't you? You gotta love it. Probably about four miles in today, which means I've got 15 left to do. 16, maybe. Hopefully, when I get down into Freshwater Bay, the pub will be open for a nice cold Coke. Sorry about the breathing. Oh, I could never be a pervert hiding in a cupboard, could I? Or could I? Right, I need to concentrate on sucking my lungs back up my hoop. Ah. Once again, look, Alfred Lord Tennyson, Charge of the Light Brigade. He was a poet laureate from the Isle of Wight. No Tennyson down, Tennyson monument. Um, yeah, good, good. That ain't good. It's down the coastal paths that way, John. Right, I've just realised we nearly took a wrong turn. We would have got to the same place, but um, I can't go up there. why? Oh. There's cows grazing and all, so you'll be alright. So that path cut us up here, which you know took away the actual views of the needles over there. I'm not walking over to go get a view. You see how close I was to it. I ain't a cheat. Um, but there, uh, no thumbnail for me. So we started off top of that warren over the other side. See that headland? Um, this, that's Fort Vic over there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So over there is where we started. We walked all the way there, back round up. We are now walking all the way here and following that entire coastline to boop, 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 that point now. Um, and it can't come soon enough. But looking at it, John, I know you've got eels and shizzle yeah, there's a lot of flat there. but it doesn't look that far compared to what we walked yesterday that's probably true that's a very good point that's boosted my morale we'll do a little skip <laughs> so yeah we're on the flat my foot's buggered let's go lizard Hercules, Hercules, Hercules! <laughs> so, here we have Tennyson's Monument. Only erected, um, only put up for no other reason, and he had a lot of money, and he was a fan of big erections. Oh, quite literally stunning. You get a better idea of where we've walked today. That's Fort Vic, we were over here somewhere. So you can see the coastline up and over. So we're about, what, six and a half miles in you say, John? Yeah. Ain't too bad going, dude, by 10 o'clock. Get some water down your napper. <sighs> loving it, hurting, but loving it. Stop being so rude, John. I've done this for you. Hello, mate. You look tasty. You want let me give you a stroke? No, you're not. His mum don't look too happy. Holding up all right, mate? Any questions? Or? No, <laughs> John is a bit grumpy. Uh, oh, no sleep. Why didn't you get any sleep? Stop snoring. That's weird, I didn't hear him. I was asleep all night. All night? All night. <laughs> that new air mattress. <laughs> that new yeah. air mattress. Mm. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. I'll put links below. 
as I say, they ain't giving me shit. I bought it. There's no affiliate links. I don't do them. They're effort. If you're, if you want a decent quality, thick, comfortable, luxurious sleeping pad, tenner-ish, give or take a quid. Just while we wait for Johnny to catch up, we're making our way now down into Freshwater Bay. Um, average age of residence down in Freshwater Bay is 92. And this weekend, they're celebrating their Grey Pride weekend. Um, old Enith and Doris are coming out in their seducative lingerie. You know, yelling for people to come and eat me, beat me. Old Ron is sitting there in his 100% pure pleather gimp suit. It is carnage down there. Sanatogen everywhere and yeah, it's a mess. I hope they've cleaned it up a bit. Um, luckily, because it is Grey Pride weekend, they're generally finished by about half past four in the afternoon and then they come back at it, give or take now, so we might miss it hopefully. But no, good on them, because as we know, all old people are deviants. Talking of deviants. Walk the coastal path, he said. There's no way they're hearing that. Walk the coastal path, he said. <laughs> The grace is like a gazelle. Normally I'd avoid you, but I haven't got it in me to walk around. Go on, mush. You fuck. Spot of luck. We have just stumbled across the World Balancing Championships. And here we go. Stretch up to the sky. Harp. Grab all of that chi and thrust it right up your whiz way. So we've stopped off at the gorgeous Freshwater Bay. Johnny's down there, he's just going to dip his feet and give him a good old wash out. And yeah, the poor kid's suffering. Is that nice? Yeah, cracking little spot though, isn't it? Beautiful. Is that better? Not really. No? A little bit. It's got numbing. It numbs, the cold just numbs the pain. So all you can hope for, a bit of pain numbing. I'll go for anything at the moment. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to find a tap to get some water. Uh, up that bad boy. I don't just walk around to that point, it's only a little jump. Happy day. Flat. Uh, not so much. Oh. We'll be going. Huh? Eight miles in, say six miles in? Eight, wouldn't it? We'll say eight. What was going to say? No, we said eight. What was going to say? It was eight. 8.2. Oh, eight Ooh! Wrong! The Stone Roses said that. I am the resurrection and I am the life. Anyone seen the Wicker Man? <laughs> this is easy. Oh, you shit. Oh. We're at about mile 42 in total. 41, 42. Over 70. So we're certainly getting there. You can just see where we're going in the distance over there. I hope they've got rum and raisin. 
So we're sitting in Compton's car park, Compton Bay that is. Another ice cream. John's got an ice cream, still working on his feet, the poor sod. This place was uh, the home for many, many, many a party when we were nippers. And many, many, many a teenage pregnancy. Isn't that right? Maybe for you, mate, not me. Oh, sorry, he was a jaffer. Very sweet, that ice cream. Not as good as that beautiful lady yesterday. No, no it'll do, though. Sit back, chill out for five, stroke ten. No, Gotta wait for someone. And then, uh, yeah, be on our way. On the road again! Nothing. It's nothing. Nothing. Might start doing a review of all the ice cream trucks on the island. En route. But, uh, that one weren't the best. It was alright. Didn't have any Dr. Pepper. That's five points straight off him. Oh. No, I've walked it, John. I forgot. Safest little chalets in the world, these. There's never once been a fire because they are 98% asbestos. You want to go and have a good old time? Let's go to the Nissan hut. Holy <sighs> ho. Holy fucking ho. In fairness, it's very quaint, isn't it? And I think people still use them. No. Not really. Uh, I know they had a couple of uh, shows here, didn't they? Uh, 1950s campsite, etc. Was it this one? No, it must have been over. I'm not sure. But anyway, look at it, quite pretty. The Isle of Wight at its best. Anyone thinking of doing this walk, it is a truly beautiful walk um, for the most part. I mean, there are areas, oh, just point that at me, eh? that might help. There are areas which are road slogging and not too nice, but for the most part, you are a lot on the coast and it is, well, you can see. One thing I would say, is don't be a dick and try and do it over three days. Um, with with no no exaggeration, it's it's brutal. John, on a scale of one to ten, how brutal is this walk been? The second day, wow. Well, yeah, the second day's been ten on me. Yeah. First day was all right up till lunchtime, but I'm struggling now. So we're about what forty-five miles in, give or take. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less of a 67 mile trip. So we're on target. We should finish it absolutely fine. But I'd be lying if I said it was enjoyable over that sort of pace if you're carrying kit. Five days, you'll smash it. Um, four days is manageable if you're really, really lightweight. But yeah, give, give it a go. Come to the Isle of Wight and spend some money. Give the old carkhead some money. Isn't that right? All about the community, John, isn't it? Bringing your corona over here. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Great walk. As you can see, we come over the top of that earlier. It really is beautiful, but bloody hard going. I mean, you can definitely do it in trainers as well. That is one good thing about it. There's nothing there that's really ankle breaking. Although I did just nearly go down a flight of stairs. Stop laughing, that wasn't funny. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't get it on camera. So I'll bring, no I won't, I will see thee Ron when I'm walking. Don't you be crapping on my head. I used to do that. Oh, is he making the gap? He's made the gap. Of course, then he's flying. Hopefully, up there is where we're stopping. It's five o'clock. So, Johnny, I think it's time to pub, don't you? 
going to be nice, but I don't know if I'm going to feel like getting going again. But... We'll see, won't we? To the White Mouse in. Lovely battle. Don't know if you can see that right up over there in the distance. Even further than that we started because we started over the back in Fort Vic. So this part of let's have a look at 29. Best part of 50 miles we've covered in two days. Not bad going. Just a little mooch up the hill now. If Johnny makes it. I think he's teetering on jacking, by the way. Um, he's in pain. Um, I'm not gonna hold it against him if he does. Two seconds. But we will see. And here he comes with two pints of coke. So Johnny, what are your reservations about tomorrow? Um, getting up. Walking. Um, getting up. What are your actual reservations tomorrow? Uh, I would say the thought of doing 20 plus miles. Day three on very, very, very sore feet, tired legs, sore back, no morale. In fairness, how's your sphinky? Itchy. You got an itchy sphinky? Yeah. I did, did ask for someone to uh, sort it out earlier, but no one's. I said I'd jab a pole up it for you. <laughs> you, yeah. you declined? Well, well, it took a finger, but not for to me, I was, I was adhering to social distancing. Yeah, but oh, I'm just worried about distance. I reckon we'll be right. What? We'll be okay. No. Oh, we, I mean me. Well, he's walking like me. <laughs> <laughs> I've seized up since I sat down. Bad. Yeah. But. It was worth it for a nice cold coke, sugar rush. Get up to wherever we are going, because wherever we that go... That's a big hill there, isn't it? Relatively big, yeah. <laughs> oh, we can look for something else. We can't, we've got to go up the hill. Uh, there's, there's a field with the path, um, on the coastal path, that we might be able to sneak in somewhere. We'll have a look. We won't get the views or the sunset or sunrise or anything like that. But don't worry about that, John. Don't worry about it. I've seen it before. If I'm totally honest with you, we can go up there. But getting the views and the sunset <laughs> is the least of my worries at the moment. You're proper feeling that, ain't you? Fucking right. I was feeling it when I woke up this morning. <laughs> Tomorrow's a new day, my man. Tomorrow's a new day. Uh, as you come out of Chow, going anti-clockwise. There's a little cut through um, by uh, butterfly paragliding that takes you out to another road. Some little herbert, luckily we sussed it before we done it, has turned the sign around for the coastal path, which sends you back in the wrong direction. So when you come out of that thing, hook a right. Hook a right. Just having a little look here. Me and Johnny have camped down that side quite a bit. Uh, over there, just to the right of the lighthouse is when I'd done my 100 mile an hour tarp camp, which was bloody awful. Um, how long do you want to keep going for till you find a camp, John? And just, I'm happy no matter what you say. I'm, I'm, I'm all good for walking for another five, 10 miles. I'm all good for setting up camp if you want to get your feet rested. Oh yeah, I think, well that's not in there, so. That's not in there, is it? So you reckon Let's plod on, see. we're gonna plot on? Tell them again, John. What we're we doing? We're fucking collapsing. He walks like he shut himself. I think he might have shut himself. Do you still want me to thumb your swinky? Yes, swinky! I got all excited for a place to stay tonight, but. Ah. There is no way my fat ass is squeezing through that. Good though, isn't it? Look at the mountain goat. Carry on. It's not funny. 
I know, well, it is a bit funny. I feel we're paying. I'll tell you what, John. Let's compare blisters when we get down the bottom. Happy to do that. You're not going to be able to see a lot in there other than a bit of trash that some dirty mongrels left, but that's a smuggler's tunnel. Smuggler's tunnel number 11. Right, so just to show you, as I say, I'll probably do a, a review video on it on its own when I've got all the information in front of me. Um, but that solar charger stroke power bank I bought with me, um, I say 24,000 milliamp, um, normally does a Samsung Galaxy, I believe about five times. I used it to part charge, um, that was way under half my phone twice and my GoPro twice yesterday and my GoPro today. I had that sitting on the top of my rucksack today. The battery bank, uh, battery, the power bank was uh, down to half charge when I set off this morning. And as you can see, boom, full charge. I've used it quite a bit, testing it out at home to make sure it's actually any good before I give it any review because, you know, once again, not getting paid for it. They did give me the thing, um, but that was just to review it. I don't even think they're expecting me to put a YouTube video out, but obviously I will because it's a handy bit of kit. I believe they're about 40 odd quid, but as I say, I'll have a chat with them and see if I can get some sort of discount. Um, again, not affiliated with them. No affiliation links, none of that shite. It works, therefore I'm going to tell you it works. That don't work. What are those stains on your hoop? <laughs> I knew that was coming. I just... And once again, I know I've banged on about it. That is the shizzle, comes with a bag for blowing it up. I'm just about to, where do I put that? Blow up my pillow, which is tiny. Link in the description for that. They don't even know I'm doing it. I bought it. I told Bruce and a couple of other people, they all went out and bought them. They've all been impressed. Happy days. I need to cook. Johnny's little tent. Johnny's rotten pants, socks. <laughs> my awesome abode. It's a lot better than it was last night. Set it up higher. Although, I've gone away from buying AliExpress stuff. That was a good buy. It was a good buy, John, wasn't it? What have you got? That, 23 quid. Right. He really is in pain and he's upset. He's missing his missus. And his feet is hurt. You see, do his feet is hurt. The thing is, I'm looking at them, and I've definitely got worse blisters. Yeah, that big, that big time. I've definitely got worse blisters. Not yeah, That's I have. Ruined. No, I have. That's what one? The big tail, all inside. The yeah. little tail, sorry, the little tail. Mate, don't you get a camera so close. I'm going to have to embarrass him in a minute and show him my feet, because mine are a damn sight bigger and worse than that. But perhaps, 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 because I don't have a vagina, you know, or is it just that I'm as tough as woodpecker lips? It's been so bloody hot today, it was murders. That was a real slog, I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, yeah, sweating like a gypsy with a mortgage half the time. It was not good. But we're here, 20 miles to push tomorrow. I'm just a little bit gutted, I can't shirk some of my kit, because that would have been brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> don't need half the kit anymore do we no. cheating though innit is it cheating it's cheating I can't share the kit anyway I'll live back in fucking ride where I'm walking excuse my language anyway cheap and nasty frequent stove 15 pound titanium pot which goes with that the meal I'm cooking is naked noodle two of I think it's Thai red curry they are the dog's bollocks anyone that's going out and looking for uh, hiking food, two of them gives you, give or take five, five and a half hundred calories. You know, bag of peanut M&Ms after that, you are golden. Small, light, really, really delicious. Save your money for your walking shoes. Save your money for your walking shoes. That is the first thing today I've heard you say. And not just today, that's the first thing I've heard you say of any sense. Save your money. Found a real sheltered place and all. And, you know, as my good mate, Phil Spencer would say, location, location, location. He was a bit shocked when I confronted him on that ferry, wasn't he? I don't think he knew what to do, John. Did you confront him? 
Didn't see it, or you rushed up in front of his face. <laughs> but he was a good sport. Yeah, he was. I didn't fanboy him, did I? I just said, do you want to do something for charity? Yeah, he was good as gold, mate. Good as gold. Thank you, Mr. Spencer. Not that you're going to watch it. But you might. I know Kirsty Allsop's got a thing for me. Oh. Ab -ab 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 and DIY tables doing sterling work. So one bad thing about tarp camping, you just have shit everywhere. Yep. <laughs> I can see you laying next to that tent. You're definitely bigger than the tent. No, my head is that there. I know where your head goes, John. Wait, I'm not joking. Don't get me wrong, my feet touch the end. Mm. And my head touches the end. Yeah. It served you well. What'd you pay? 20, 30 quid or something? Yep, 25 quid. Wicked. You're ugly. You're, you're proper fucking ugly. I don't care. <laughs> so that's it, all scoffed done. In me pit, really, really comfy on this mattress. I might sling me bug nut over me head, but I don't know. Um, that weren't a good buy that. I'll give it a try when I peg it out proper under a bigger tarp, but not much cop. Anyway, muffling shite. I'm going to get my head down. Hopefully not cramp up in the middle of the night. I'm going to cramp up in the middle of the night. Um, yeah. Night, John. You're right, mate. He's such a